be Amari Jazz. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how diamonds are made. And this video was inspired by just the importance of jewelry and diamonds and rhinestones and to be honest, jewelry in general and its involvement and impact in fashion. I felt like it was just right to do a segment on diamonds, their influence, how they are created, their impact in cinema music industry culturally and everything basically about diamonds i wanted to include in this video so it could be very thorough and so you can leave this video knowing at least something more about diamonds in the diamond industry than you went in so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i hope you enjoy the diamond was formed millions of years ago in the Earth's crust and only thanks to volcanic eruptions emerged on the Earth's surface and kimberlite. The erosion and crumbling away of kimberlite freed diamonds of various sizes, colors, and purities, which would later be sorted in specialized centuries. It was then during intense volcanic eruptions that the diamonds were carried to the surface by magnetic rock slatter termed kimberlites. The diamonds will then travel through the volcanic pipes, also known as the Kimberlite pipes. The pipes were named after the South African city Kimberley, where they first, where they were first discovered. The extraction of diamonds could take place in two types of deposit: primary and secondary. In the primary deposits, diamonds are found in Kimberlite and are extracted by crumbling it away while in secondary they are found around river deposits in the sand or gravel in the rivers. As soon as the temperature drops in the volcano, atoms will bound leading to the formation of the diamond crystals. The process of making diamonds begins by cutting very small pieces of a real diamond to produce tiny scraps that are called wavers. These wavers are then placed in a metal apparatus that recreates the conditions we discussed earlier. The process of diamonds before it reaches a consumer is exploration, mining, sorting, cutting and polishing, jewelry manufacturing, and retailing. The first diamonds were discovered during the alluvial diamond mining process and then later through the diamond pipe mining. Alluvial diamond mining is when diamonds are not found close to the kimberlite pipes, but rather in a location far away. The earliest diamonds were found in India in 4th century BC, although the youngest of these deposits were formed 900 million years ago. There are four main types of diamonds. Natural diamonds are largely colorless and brightly sparkles in the light. Treated diamonds are natural diamonds that have been treated enhanced artificially by inclusion, filling, or coloring. Natural color diamonds are pink, yellow, blue, purple, and violet. Man-made diamonds are created in a lab. It's estimated that there are around 175 million carats of diamonds mined each year. Diamonds are typically graded on a 4C scale, cut, color, and clarity. Therefore, carat weight is the most critical factor in determining a diamond's value. Diamonds are the hardest known material on earth. However, they are also one of the most thermally conductive materials, meaning they can dissipate heat very clearly, very quickly. Natural diamonds are usually between 800 million and 3 billion years old. Natural diamonds are highly valued, even though it costs extreme and even though it causes extreme environmental damage to find the name diamond comes from the Greek word atomus, which means unconquerable or invincible. In the Middle Ages, diamonds became a symbol of power and wealth and were often worn by royalty. The top jewelry designers in the world is Tiffany & Co., Harry Winston, and Cartier. The world's largest consumer of diamonds is the United States of America. An estimated $13 billion worth of rough diamonds are produced per year, of which approximately $8.5 billion worth are from Africa. The world's largest diamond was found in 1905 in South Africa and weighed 3106 carats. The Hope Diamond is one of the most famous diamonds. It weighs 45.52 carats and is currently on display at the Smithsonian Museum in Washington, D.C. The first diamond engagement ring was given to Mary of Burgundy by her husband, the Archduke Maximilian of Austria, in 1477. Movies have often portrayed diamonds as symbols of wealth, luxury, and allure, used as a plot device or a cultivated objects of desire. Diamonds have left an indebitable mark in cinematic history. Favorable mentions are Gentlemen Preferred Blondes, 1953. Ocean 8 and Marilyn Monroe's famously saying diamonds are girl's best friend. 
Diamonds have also been a recurring theme in music, often symbolizing love, luxury, and success. Such as Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, 1967. Diamonds are forever, 1971. Shirley Bassey's iconic rendition of this James Bond theme song captures the timelessness and lore of Diamonds in the context of espionage and intrigue. The love for jewelry and the hip-hop began in 1980s, when artists like Public Enemy's Favor Flav or Run DMC became synonymous with their iconic gold chains, which became an enduring symbol of the group and the hip-hop movement in general. In the marginalized communities which hip-hop emerged, material wealth and financial success were often exclusive in a world where are often scarce. These pieces represented a monumental achievement a way to tell the world, despite all odds, one has succeeded. Expensive jewelry became a way of saying, I have arrived. And hip hop's culture, bling is currency of exchange. The bigger and shinier the jewelry, the better. This is not just a display of ego. It serves as a constant reminder that despite the, suc- despite the struggles, success is attainable. Behind every dazzling piece in hip hop world is a talented juror or designer, such as Jacob and Co, Ben Baller, and Johnny Dang. Diamonds have been purposeful beyond jewelry. Early men used diamonds to create tools for hunting and gathering. Diamonds were also used in the construction of early weapons and armor. Diamonds have been used to develop industry, industrial, and technological tools. Diamonds have also been used for space exploration. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a thing or two about diamond, the diamond industry, and how. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.